What's going on guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back to encourage you not to give up in this game and also in life. Let me tell you right now, winners don't give up. Winners do not surrender. Winners persevere no matter how hard it gets, okay? I believe in you, this is your year. Go get it. So after months of anticipation and waiting, the new season is finally upon us and Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2, has high standards and expectations to meet. With the longest season in Fortnite history, you know, Chapter 2 Season 1 has finally come to a close and with that comes all the new major changes that Epic has now implemented. In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at all the new changes to gameplay, map structure, and more. We're also going to have the new henchmen, weapon vaults, unvaults, and all the new gameplay structure changes. Ladies and gentlemen, question of the day. What is your favorite part of season two? I'm really curious to know, so leave it down in the comments. All right, let's do this. Also, if you want to learn how to play exactly like the pro players, check out ProGuides.com, where we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by players like Benji and Mongrel. If you want to go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, head on over to ProGuides' website to be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, say it with me. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Come on, I need some of that. It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. With the new season, just like every other one, some items were removed. These items include the P90, bolt action sniper rifle, and most shockingly, damage traps. Their items were very important aspects of gameplay and their vaults do make a really big change in the game. The P90 was an absolute unit of a weapon when in close range. A rapid firing rate plus high damage headshots mean, you know, it could shred shields and health. It was also incredible for tearing through player builds, making it the ultimate W key weapon. The removal of the bolt action sniper rifle makes an interesting change to the game as well. All right, so in this previous season, sniper rifles were a meta for arena, right? Mainly due to their usefulness in getting quick and easy kills via headshots from medium to long range distance. This was easily taken advantage of in arena and many, many pro players would almost always carry a sniper rifle with them. Although it's been vaulted, you know, the heavy sniper rifle has actually made a return, which balances the meta out perfectly. So we're gonna get into this more in the next section of this video. Lastly, the vault of the damage trap will make a huge difference in gameplay. You know, in almost all seasons of Fortnite, W King straight into someone's box is a dangerous move, right? Because any player with traps could easily place a few and end your game. But with the removal of traps, game intense box fights that cannot be ended via, you know, the use of a single trap. The vaulting of the P90 perfectly balanced this out, as you know, you can't just spray into someone's box anymore either. Meaning, you know, that the box fighting and box fighting techniques are becoming even more prevalent. So although we've had three major vaults in the new season, there also comes over 12 new one vaults. Starting with the minigun. Okay guys, so this legendary weapon has made a return and is now an aspect of squad-based gameplay. The new update can be seen greatly as Fortnite moving more towards, you know, teammate-based gameplay. In addition, you know, C4 has also been brought back, allowing players to place explosives and make interesting players. Some variants of, you know, rocket launchers have been removed, but the RPG itself is still in the game. So the suppressed AR, SMG, pistol, and sniper rifle have all been re-added. So this shows that, you know, they're trying to increase the loot pool and allow for easier access to more important weapons that people want. You know, suppressed weapons do bring a slight advantage with the suppression of gunshots, but their damage and hit counts are fairly similar to their non-suppressed counterparts. Meaning that, you know, this change won't make too much of an impact except more weapons in the loot pool. This could also mean that Epic is planning on adding more weapons throughout the season. So guys, as we mentioned before, the heavy sniper rifle has also been unvaulted. This is a great change as, you know, of the normal bolt action sniper rifles means that they're gonna be much more rare to find. But those that find heavy sniper rifles are gonna be getting access to more useful rifles that can be used in a variety of ways, such as, you know, shooting through walls, you know, doing 150 damage body shots and pulling off plays like the RPG and heavy snipe combo. 
Interestingly though, you know, Epic also added the Grappler, which is a very surprising unvault. The Grappler, you know, has always been a controversial item because of its, you know, ability to counter builds, which are a main aspect of Fortnite. You know, they make it so that you can easily bypass someone's building skills and just simply grapple up after a player has spent hundreds of mats cranking and just gaining high ground. But it's also an excellent utility for movement and rotation. So it's gonna be really, really cool to see how it plays out through this season and, you know, whether or not it's gonna remain in the game. The infamous drum gun has also made a return. Okay, so this weapon has a great fire rate and can do loads of damage from close and medium range. You know, it has generally been vaulted because of it being overpowered and it also has been nerfed. Even after the nerf, however, you know, this weapon still remains a powerful and versatile close range monster, similar to the P90. You know, it's gonna play a big role in box fights and close range encounters, especially, you know, with the removal of traps. You know, there's also new variants of this weapon that we're gonna be discussing a bit later in this video when we brush on the new henchmen and POI changes. All right, guys, so speaking of competitive box fights, okay, so launch pads have also been added to the arena playlist, adding an extra movement item that is gonna make a huge difference in arena gameplay. You know, in-game rotations are now much easier and can be done through a quick placement of a launch pad. This is another great change, guys, as mobility items were greatly needed in arena, and there was little to none except boats. Besides on vaults, okay, so Epic has also added two brand new items, the decoy grenade and the creeping cardboard. The decoy grenade is a brand new item that's gonna create a decoy of your player. This decoy is gonna attract the AI bots in the game as well, you know, as act as a copy of your character, which could be used to trick players all the time. The creeping cardboard essentially is a bush, but in the shape of a cardboard. This is a really, really funny addition, and it really doesn't make much of a change to the core gameplay aspect of the game. A new SMG has also been added to the game, known as the Rapid Fire SMG. It does 15 damage and shoots 15 shots per second. This new SMG, guys, is another interesting addition to the game as it has a completely different fire rate and damage than the others. Now that we've gone over all the new items, we gotta get into some major gameplay changes that have also been added. Different from most updates, Epic has actually added critical gameplay changes that makes the game more interesting than before. First of all, all right, Epic has now added the ability to actually throw consumable items. This makes it easier to help your teammates heal up. This teamwork-based change shows that Epic is moving towards squad-based gameplay, meaning that they're adding items and gameplay changes that promote teamwork and cooperative play. Some fishing spots have also been buffed, so you know they don't disappear after one to two items have been caught. Another minor update to weapon upgrades now makes them take longer to happen. And one of the more interesting and funny changes to gameplay is the porta potties. Instead of just hiding, all right, when you interact with them, you're gonna be transported to another porta potty. Similar to the rip teleporters that used to be in the game a while ago, some dumpsters also have this feature, which is gonna make for some exciting escapes. Phone booths have also been given the ability to transform you to like a shadow henchman. This is gonna allow players to open certain doors and interact in ways that can't be done without this disguise. Some similar changes that were added were bug fixes, such as, you know, issues with not being able to edit cones if standing inside have been fixed. The user interface for emotes, you know, has also been updated and looks different. Now that we've gone over all these changes, small and big, all right, we gotta talk about new points and interest and the henchmen plus mythic items that are now an exciting part of the game. So perhaps the most exciting part of this update for more you know, casual players is the introduction of a new type of AI, the new henchmen and bosses. All right, so there are now five new points of interest known as the yacht, the rig, the agency, the shark, and the grotto. These points of interest feature bots that are gonna shoot at you. Fighting these AI will earn you weapons and drops such as utilities and healing items, very similar to the zombie updates that came in the past during Halloween. But what makes this season, guys, different is that there's a lot of different things that you could do when interacting with these areas. For example, all right, so, you know, you can shake down AIs and you can find where their bosses are. If you take out their bosses, you're gonna have access to mythic weapons and items. Some of these are the mythic drum gun, the infinite grappler, mythic minigun, mythic ARs, and the mythic bow. Eliminating the boss is the only way to get these. And to find the boss, you must interact and you must take out their henchmen. You can also earn things in the game that are known as key cards. 
These are gonna guide you guys to special crates that can only be opened if you have the scanner. This is a very, you know, similar to the treasure maps that were in the game a few seasons ago. But these require effort and some gameplay to actually acquire, which is more different than the treasure maps, which could be found anywhere. So the new season has brought with it, you know, exciting gameplay and a brand new AI interface, which makes playing a lot more fun for casual players. But Epic has also done a great job of catering to the competitive player by introducing very good vaults and unvaults, which counter each other perfectly. So these changes to competitive gameplay and arena are sure to make pros happy as, you know, box fighting is gonna continue to become such a more important aspect of gameplay than it is already due to the removal of traps and P90s. Casuals, on the other hand, can enjoy the new points of interest and the mini gameplay changes that have been added with the AIs and bosses, right? Hunting for mythic weapons and, you know, loot throughout these places can be a very fun and, you know, essentially a whole new way to play Fortnite. We can only expect the best from what is to come from this season, and we look at how well the initial launch has been. We are, guys, without a doubt, so proud of Epic for making this update clean and worthwhile. And, you know, with these new changes, we are very hopeful for Fortnite's future. As long as they keep it up, man, there should be no problems and the future of Fortnite should be in really good hands. As long as they don't, you know, make any silly mistakes, of course. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guide. That is it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you thought and what you'd like to see be added on the game next. You know, we strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys in the item shop. Thank you again. We'll see you next time.